Hi, second graders, it's Mrs. Bellatash, and I'm really having fun learning about these different environments, these different habitats that animals and plants live in. And one of the things I really enjoy is focusing on what is special about that environment, right? So the ocean, the thing that's special is that it's salt water. It's not fresh water. So animals and plants that live there must be able to live in salt water. The thing that's interesting about the desert to me is that it is so dry, right? We went from some place that's so wet to some place that's so dry. Plants and animals that live there have to be adapted to live in a place that's very dry. Today, we're going to look at a completely different type of habitat. Today, we're going to look at the rainforest, which is, again, very different. I want you to focus on what is so special about the rainforest. What makes it unique? Life in a rainforest, again, is by Carol Lindine. What are rainforests? A rainforest is a large area of land covered with trees and plants. Rain falls almost every day in a rainforest. Well, with the word rain in your name, I would think that you probably have rain every day in the rainforest. Rainforest animals. Snakes hunt in rainforest trees. They also slither across the rainforest floor. Isn't it interesting? There were snakes in the desert too. It seems to me that snakes are very adaptable. In both the rainforest and the desert, it's warm. Snakes are reptiles and they are get a lot of their body heat from the environment they live in. That's a beautiful snake. Tree frogs hop onto tree branches. They eat insects. Many tree frogs are bright colors. Now, you know, it's funny because some animals use different strategies to survive. Some animals camouflage or blend in. But a lot of times tree frogs are brightly colored as a warning signal. Animals know, watch out, they're poisonous. Don't eat them. So it's interesting how animals have different strategies to survive. Apes swing from vines high in the rainforest canopy. That ape looks like he's having a great time. Rainforest plants. Tall trees keep the rain from soaking into the ground. The tops of tall trees form the rainforest canopy. Isn't that interesting? The trees are so thick and so tall that the water does not soak into the ground. Some of the water falls and gets stuck in the trees as it falls. Figs grow on fig trees in rainforests. Birds and monkeys eat figs. And guess what? I eat figs too. I love figs. Ferns grow on the forest floor in the canopy's shade. Ferns have many narrow leaves. It's interesting, in the desert, there's lots and lots of sun. In a rainforest, the trees at the top get a lot of light, but the plants at the bottom have a shady environment. Do you see that they have very large leaves? I know that there are lots of small, narrow leaves, but they combine to make very large leaves so they can absorb as much sunlight as possible. Living together. Rainforest animals live in the trees 
or on the ground. Many plants grow in rainforests. Rainforests are full of life. Now let's get your science notebook and we're gonna write something and then we're gonna draw a diagram of the rainforest. And this is what I wrote. Rainforest environment. So I put the title at the top and I actually made a little change in my notes. So I'm going to make that change when I read it to you. Rainforests get a lot of rain and contain many trees and plants. Rainforests are usually warm and wet. Tall trees have leaves that capture sunlight in the canopy. Plants on the shady forest floor need large leaves to capture light. Animals live in all levels of the rainforest. And you can see I made a little correction. I added the word shady there. So a rainforest environment. Do you remember how I just said that rainforests are warm? Well, one of the reasons rainforests are warm is because they're located close to the equator. Remember in first grade when we talked about why we have day and night and we talked about how the sun's light at the equator is very, very strong. So environments near the equator are warm because they get a lot of light. And because they have a lot of water, a lot of rain, that environment is warm and wet. And then I drew a diagram and because it's a rainforest, I really drew mostly trees. And because we know the rainforest has different levels, I really focused on all of the trees having their leaves in the canopy up at the top. And you can see I have a lot of light up at the top and that's why those trees are growing there. Then it got darker and shadier as I went down to the forest floor and there the ferns and, and, and those types of plants have very big leaves. Now I am not an, an, a very good artist so I basically just drew a snake because I'm not very good at drawing apes or frogs. But the rainforest has a lot of plants and a lot of water. The rainforest is a really important habitat. All right, guys, we have a couple of more habitats to go. See you next week.